Hi, I'm Lauren, this is Brain Stuff, and we all know that you are what you eat, but how exactly do the things you eat get turned into pieces of you? I'm thinking of bones in particular here. The foods we humans consume are soft, especially compared to other animals' diets, but from them our bodies build strong, hard materials like fingernails and tooth enamel and bones. So how do we soft, fleshy humans turn soft, fleshy food into bones. Let's start off by zooming in. Your body builds bone tissue with the help of specialized cells called osteoblasts. They work together, forming a tight-fit layer over areas where bone needs to grow or be repaired. They secrete a particular combination of amino acids, primarily glycine and proline. These amino acids are chemical compounds that are the building blocks of proteins. Not unlike Voltron, they fold up with each other into something more than the sum of their parts. Though in this case, it's a strong triple helix thread of protein, not a space super robot. Your cells get these amino acids from foods that you eat. Meat, fish, dairy, and legumes contain both glycine and proline, and you can also get proline from gelatin and cabbage. Once your osteoblasts secrete the amino acids and they come together to form threads, enzymes give those threads a stabilizing sort of polish. Vitamin C helps the enzymes work. Without it, the threads can't come together to form bone tissue correctly. That's what happens in scurvy, and it's one of the reasons why you should eat some fruit sometimes. The stabilized threads are molecules of collagen which is the most abundant protein in the animal kingdom. Collagen molecules pack together into long, thin fibers called fibrils. Fibrils create the scaffolding that bodily tissues are built upon. They're sturdy and kind of flexible, like steel beams in architecture. They're also relatively lightweight. Adult human bones are about 10% collagen by mass. If your bones were collagen fibrils alone, you'd be sentient silly putty. So to add support, your osteoblasts guide deposits of a strengthening layer of mineral crystals along the fibrils. Hydroxyapatite, to be exact, also known by its street name, calcium phosphate. Calcium and phosphate bond in your system after you consume foods that contain them. For calcium, that's dairy and soy products, eggs, shrimp, and dark leafy greens. For phosphate, it's dairy, whole wheat, nuts, and legumes again. And this, along with dairy's amino acid content, is why milk and fortified food ads talk about how these products help build strong bones. This mineral coating is just a few atoms thick, but it gives gives bones their stiff structure, like concrete poured over steel beams, and it accounts for about 65% of adults' bone mass. The coated fibrils get gummed together with a sort of shock-absorbing glue made up of spiraled collagen molecules that uncoil when stress is applied and can then reform. This helps prevent fractures at a molecular level, like if you connected your steel-reinforced concrete beams with springs. So. How does your body get a hold of all of these substances? Your digestive system is a fancy molecular blaster. When you eat, your teeth, gastrointestinal muscles, and digestive juices break food down to the point that its molecules are ready to be harvested. Your gut bacteria help by eating some molecules that your cells don't know how to handle and excreting things that they do. The cells in the walls of your small intestine pass everything they can into your bloodstream to be carried on to maker cells like your osteoblasts. Once they're stuck in your bone tissue, they develop into osteocytes, which researchers aren't sure, but they think, are sensory cells that help alert your body when bone growth or repair is needed. So that's your crash course in digestion and bone creation. But I've got a question for you. Have you ever broken a bone? How long did it take you to heal? If you had the choice, would you get the Wolverine adamantium treatment? Let us know in the comments. And to learn more about how bones work, visit our home planet at HowStuffWorks.com.